bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. Uh, now I've got so many things uh, to tell you about today before we commence our brand new, very exciting build. Uh, so first things first, um, I can tell you that there are three minifigures, uh, three new minifigures are very much on their way. Uh, we've got Sarah Brooke, our new Golden Goose. Uh, well done, well done, well done. Well done. Well done, Sarah Brooke, well done. Uh, and of course we have Tweedle Mandy and Tweedle Vars Poo Sue. They are twins and they love poo. I actually cannot wait for those two minifigures to arrive. They're, they're twins. They're twins. Um, now the second thing I was going to show you before we get to our very, 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 very exciting build is I have purchased off of the eBay for the price of £5.50 a load of vintage uh, creator instruction booklets. Molly's absolutely furious. And uh, I thought it would be a really nice thing uh, for the gooses. Look, aren't they lovely? They're really charming. Um, that I will do little films uh, exclusively uh, for the gooses over on the Patreon. Um, but these are really nice. Look at that good isn't it show you all of them these are quite like the the three and ones that we do every now and again look little tree house nice that is a three and one hmm I don't know what that is and then that one so there we go so um I'll do all of those um, and they will be exclusive builds for the gooses, but they'll be fun. That'll be fun to do. Uh, what's next on my uh, list? Oh, yes, it's arrived. This is going to be the giveaway uh, for our October live and uh, bricking. I will, of course, uh, build it first, but one of you... One of the gooses is going to win it, and as you know, you've got to be in it to win it. So if you want a chance of winning the old Primit Drive, then goose ye up. Um, I've got other news about that, but I will get to that. Uh, and the other news is that there is more news, but I will give you a, a little sneak peek now, is that the Affawax Spa... Uh, is open but we'll, we'll we'll discuss that later because I think I think the time is right sorry I need to get I need to get a hold of it the time is right to reveal our next build are you ready I'm so excited here it comes it's a behemoth I'm actually going to have to pull back. Uh, we've only gone and got it. It's Diagon Alley. Yes. Yes. We've only gone and done it. It's Diagon Alley. Fabulous. Fabulous. So, uh, let's... Oh, hang on. I haven't got the lights on. What the heck? No, that's better. Um... Right, so let's have a look at the uh, the box, shall we? Look, there's. I mean, I presume is that Hedwig. Is it even called Hedwig? I'm not entirely sure. Um, up there, it looks massive. Look at this, forty point three inches in length. That's rather marvellous. Um, I'm loving these. <clears throat> shop fronts. So we've got Ollivander's, the wand shop. Uh, Scribulus. Not sure what that is. Well, there's some lovely looking signs here. I wonder if they'll be stickers or or made. Um, Quidditch supplies. Oh, look, the Daily Prophet. That's marvellous. 
Flourish and Blots. What did, was that a bookshop, I think? And this looks good. What's this over here? Oh, Weasley's Wizard Weasley. So it's a joke shop. It's the Weasley's joke shop. That's marvellous. The evil the evil ones over there. I can't remember any of their names. Draco, blah, blah. Um, him. can't remember any of their names. Uh, oh, well, this looks fab. Oh, here we are. Look, it's on the bottom here. Draco Malfoy, that's it, the Malfoys. Gildroy Lockhart, thank you. Garrick Ollivander, where are you? Oh, Garrick, I don't think you've made the front box, or is that you there? No, there you are, Garrick Ollivander. Uh, all right, let's have a look at the back. I wonder if there's any moving parts. I mean, how excited are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Because I'm pretty darn tootin' excited. Um, just close-up scenes here. Uh, I'm not seeing any moving parts yet, though, which will be a little bit saddening. The interiors look fabulous with lots of detail, which is what we like. Ooh, that one looks good. That looks fabulous. Fab. Oh, I'm going to enjoy doing that one. That's the Weasley's Wizard Weasley's and Nocturne Alley. Um, I think I've missed. Oh, there's an ice cream parlour. Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlour. Anyway, so there we are. Um, okay, this is going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, so bear with while I sort out. The bags. Okay, there's 21 uh, bags, and the last bag is this. It's a secret, um, which is thrilling, and I don't know what's in there. Don't anybody tell me if you know, because I don't know, and um, and there'll be probably lots of people watching. Who also don't know so we will look forward to that but that's going to be the last thing we do that can stay there but without further ado we will now have the ceremonial uh, cutting of the the booklet it's four it's four booklets and there's stickers Isn't that a lovely one? Love those. I love that colour. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a, a, a sticker for each um, for each shop. Oh, look, I, I, that one's going to be. This is towards the end, uh, but I think this is going to be the the pièce de résistance. That one looks absolutely lovely. Right, super. We'll keep the stickers over on the purple plate of pleasure. Joy, so okay. I mean, sorry, I'm taking my time, but why wouldn't you? Um, okay, let me find a safe 
a safe space for the other books. Just put them over here for now, I'll sort that out later. I'm a bit cramped on my side table, I'll, I'll show you why in a minute. But without further ado, welcome to Diagon Alley. <laughs> so super. So super. Okay. Up you go. Up on Raquel. And uh, let's... Where shall I put that? Oh, we'll keep that there. Uh, let's do the knoll, shall we? Right then, off we go. Now, um, I've got things to discuss with the geeses. Um, there are changes at the Patreon. And this is an initiative that's been um, put in place by Patreon. And it's quite interesting, and it's a good one, I think. Um, so the, the, the idea now is, oh, hello, who's that? Is that Molly or Pippin? I've got the door open. Um, what they're going to do now is um, they, Patreon, will send out merchandise. And the good bit, here comes the good bit. You don't have to pay a penny for any of it. Um, I cover the cost. But it's like a reward system if you've been a Patreon uh, for three months, um, then you get the gift. Um, annoyingly, it doesn't it, it doesn't apply to retrospective three months. So from the moment I press the go button, it's three months from that point, which is a bit annoying, but um, that's the way Patreon are doing it and I've got no control over that bit so sorry about that but um, and the other annoying bit about it is that it will only apply to um, big gooses and no not big gooses to super gooses and golden gooses so people who are in the £10 tier will get um, I think it's a sticker and people in the £20 tier will get a mug and what I'm also going to do is, just for this, is I'm going to introduce a £25 tier um, because you get t-shirts. So, um, and I was thinking about that and I was thinking, well, you know, if, if, you're, if, if, you, do, if you did want the t-shirt, you could go up to a £25 tier for three months and get the t-shirt and then go back down to whatever tier you're on. But um, anyway, that's up to you. That's entirely up to you. You decide what you want to do. But uh, I will, I'm in the process of doing designs or getting designs done for uh, the stickers and the mugs and hopefully the t-shirts. And um, then I'll let you know when that's up and running. But I'm hoping to get it done ASAP so that people uh, who want to get involved can get involved but but you you literally have to do nothing other than just be a signed up goose for three months from the moment that it begins but this is why I'm rushing to sort of get it done um because I I, I wish it was retrospective in which case every single one of you would get one 
um, but they'll all be up at Patreon Central in America. But, but I cover the cost of the item and I cover the cost of postage. So it's absolutely zero cost to you to get this benefit. Um, but I'm doing it because I just think it's a nice thing to do and it's a nice way to say thank you um, to the people who are so kindly uh, goosed up and supporting what we do at Relax With Bricks. It does make a massive, massive, massive difference. So thank you very, very much and I'm enormously grateful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is lovely, isn't it? And sorry that, that the people in the lower down tiers, uh, pa Patreon, <laughs> Patreon, I've got nothing for you. Sorry. 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 You've got to be super goosing up. Um, but as I say, if you want to get stuff, you could always go up for, for three months and then go back down to whichever. But that's, as I say, that's entirely up to you. We've done the first page. Absolutely thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. Now, what else have I got to tell you? Oh, yes. Uh, there is a new... Uh, we've got a couple of new additions to the Lego Shed. Um, hang on a minute. I'll reveal, I'll reveal one shortly, and then the other one will be revealed at the halfway point. Um... I mean, I don't, I don't even know how to prepare you for what I'm going to show you at the halfway stage. Um, it's, it's absolutely extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary, but we'll get to that later. But in the meantime, um, you all remember that somebody, look, actually, let me just get the Afterwork request book out. Um, who was it? Oh, it was Wild Renaissance. Um, she's asked for a day spa to be um, made for the Afawax. I'm crossing it off, although it's not entirely finished because I've got to, I've got to pimp up the interior. But um, shall I reveal it now? You want to see it? I've built you a day spa. Are you ready? There it is. That's your day spa. That is now the official Affelwack day spa uh, where you can go. And when I've pimped up the interior to my uh, satisfaction, I will give you a guided tour of the Affelwack Day Spa, but that is now your day spa. You can request to go in it when it's built. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Now, where am I up to? Is there nothing I won't do for you? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Ridiculous. is correct. Then what? I might save for the new addition till the very end. It's just, it's unbelievable. It's un it's off the scale unbelievable. Hang on a minute. Oh no, I've gone wrong here. Gone entirely wrong. Of course you have. Of course you have, Emma. 
because you were entirely wrong. These go here, up there. Do you know, I always, I'm not very good at getting these up with the old doodah, but it's like right up. Bit better. I need to go on an advanced doodah break snapper rider workshop. Uh, ba -ba -ba oh, that was in the right place. Just the tiles were in the right place. Wrong place. love that we're going to be doing this for 20 days how lovely is that maybe even longer if some of the bags are hugely big and we can't get them done oh there's two more up there okay Lovely colour. We're sitting at a very awkward angle here. I might need to. Let me just move this a bit. There we are. That's better for me. Lovely. Excuse me, freaky burp. That's so nice. I love that green. This is interesting as well, isn't it? This bit along the front. Oh, there's more here. I seem to have just stopped doing it. Love it sort of gives a, a cobbly, oldy worldy feel. That's very clever. I'm gonna love this build so much. Oh, I'm I'm already feeling sad that it's going to end at some point. I don't. I already don't want it to end. really good. I like that a lot. Um, okay.
We'll use a sticker today. I do love these templates. They sort of thrill me because I always think, ooh, what's going to be on that? Something exciting. Do you remember when we did the Grander Emporium and we made that revolving door? Absolutely thrilling. I mean, it was thrilling. Now this is interesting, um, no red lines on this, that's quite old school. In the book there's no red lines, fascinating, okay, <laughs> that means I'll have to stir my toes. Just checking I've got everything, yeah I've done everything, we're going to make something lovely. So let's come in. Might be too much. Come out. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. clever I think that's supposed to signify ice cream coming down The 
little bit fiddly. Can you even believe we're doing this? I had put it on my Christmas present but um list but um I had some birthday money that I'd been given by my dad and I hadn't spent it and I had uh, some VIP points that I hadn't used up on the Lego store so I was able to get a quite significant discount and uh, I thought to hell with it to hell with it we'll all love it the world is going to hell in a handcart but we can still enjoy our Lego I think this is ice cream, but I'm not entirely sure. I might be entirely wrong about that. I've forgotten what we're building. I've got, I mean, I know we're building a diagonal. And I've, um, I've forgotten which shop we're doing. Isn't it Ollivander? No, maybe this is the one shop. Someone will tell me. By the way, Grumpy Mark, if you're watching, um, sorry I didn't do your picture, but I am planning on doing it today. So that should be in the post to you tomorrow. Look, that's a lovely thing, isn't it? I'm doing something different with Grumpy Mark. Um, for for this old sack uh, because he wa he wanted he put a request in that that it be done in the in the style of a very sp of of a of a specific artist and I'm going to do it in in coloured pencils uh, I think rather than paint because I think it will it will it will work better. Um, so there might be bits of it which I speed up because there's going to be a lot of colouring in in pencil and I suspect it will take a couple of hours and I think that's probably too much for anyone to sit and watch in real time but you can slow it, in, slow it down. A4, 5, voila. Voila. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another one here, look. Anywhere else? Yes, four and three. Gosh, it's, it's amazing the difference it makes when you're used to red lines and then not having red lines again. I wonder why they've decided to do that. Not keen on this colour, but it does give it that sort of faded, oldie-worldie look. So I will accept it. I'll accept it.
lovely coloured door. It's actually the colour of the build that must not be named, of course. Which, for all its faults, it was still a lovely colour. I'll give it that. interesting having this down this at this level hmm. Hmm. that's normally something you'd see over the door but no it's like sort of a a sewer or something isn't it Oh, this is going to be good. <gasps> sticker. I've got a sticker. A1. A one, A one, A, A one sticker, A one, stick of A one. I wanted to do it again, to be honest. It's a little bit off. I mean, I'm out of practice with stickers, so that's better. This is absolutely brilliant. What's a brilliant way of doing a scroll? Isn't that wonderful? I love that. Oh, I've forgotten how to put these things on. There they are. I absolutely love that. That's really good. Yeah, that's not ice cream, is it? I wonder what those... I'm intrigued as to what these things are supposed to be. 
Mm, unless it's just the tops of pens. Lovely. That's going. Delightful. How are we doing for time? Oh, we've got half an hour. I think we've done half an hour. Yeah, I'm definitely going to introduce uh, the other new addition at the end. A little finale. I hope there's something going in there, otherwise I'll be disappointed that there's a bit of dead space there. doesn't like being told what to do does it thank you do, do, do. now where's that going I think it's there. All right, making two of these. Oh, okay. That's answered my question, isn't it?
Mm. That clearly needs another thing on it. Light, light bevis. Ooh, nice one. I don't know when, doesn't matter, I've caught up. Dun, 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 dun. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, we've got another sticker. Let's put the sticker on first. A2. Sticker. A2. Sticker. A2. Sticker A2. Loving that 20 Silencio box. Oh, annoying. These things do drive you mad. Do you remember in um, Destiny's Bounty? It was forever. Let's take that off. Make it a bit easier. Knocking the flipping thing out. Thank you. Right, that's it. That was uh, bag one. What a lovely little thing we're making. This was, I think this was my favourite thing today. Uh, followed by this intriguing area. And obviously it goes without saying tiling. Also very much enjoyed this. Right, are you uh, ready? Brace yourselves. Uh, for we have a, uh, a new addition. Um, 
to the Afwak uh, family. So uh, please uh, be upstanding. <laughs> and also uh, get ready for Dolly St. Clement Neptune. Hello. Hello, uh, it's uh, uh, really sober to be here. Um, I'm Dolly St. Clement Neptune and uh, I'll very much be available uh, to the other works. Uh, I've got ears, I've got a nose, uh, I've got norks. Uh, I haven't got wrists, I haven't got legs, but uh, that's me, a Dolly St. Clement Neptune. Uh, have you got any advice? Um, advice, um, hmm, maybe don't get so popular and enjoyable for me to do that they have a poll and vote to get rid of you. Yeah, all right. Uh, can I have a fag? No, I'm afraid there's no smoking on the haunted table. I repeat, no smoking on the haunted table. Thank you very much, Dolly Neptune. Thank you very much. And that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.